Ladies, can you sit down and we begin, class? I don't know what's going on. There is nothing that. Really like oh, um, is a gun with a dog for my sweet. Hey, Brianna. <laughs> Two. Is Alexa coming to class today? Yes. <laughs> China or a China that actually you know is based on the principles of Russia I mean he comes in with the characterization as, as we can see it was a gradual process that uh, began with the creation of 5 to 15 but later it's going to be something big very many families brought it together what do you think Mai? I think that um, like what you were getting to is like when you you, you want to do something good, but your means of getting to that good is bad. Mm. Like, I think it kind of takes away from what you were, like, you, it should have been a choice. Instead of forcing people, like Maria was saying, coming from such a background, and then forcing people, like, making people stay somewhere until they say yes. It, it kind of defeats the purpose of trying to do the good in the first place. Thank you so much. I could kind of understand why he was trying to get everyone to work, because mm. if, if he wants everyone to be equal, then everyone has to work equally as hard. So if people are slacking and the government, if like the landlords are just owning the property and they're not, they were previously owning the property, now they can't own the property because it's private, now they have to work. So it's like everyone has to work to like share. Now what do you think about his policy of, you know, having very many people to work instead of using machines? Because he says, China has very many people, we do not need to invest in importing in machinery. So what do you think about that stuff? I think that, um, I think it was, I agree with Lauren, I think it was like really idiotic in a 
way because, I mean, there's a reason why machines are built is because they can sustain better than uh, like a regular human can. They like efficiency. They're, yeah, efficiency, but Dependable. also, but also like with humans, they're not built to like sustain that much pressure or like they're not built to like work as hard as the machine does. That's why there's like industrial machines rather than like. People machine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, the like we are like treating this machinery as an advancement, and sometimes it goes to an extreme, but that like we're polluting. But here, I think this is going too much in the other extreme that we're going to backwards. All right, thank you so much. Yes, Maria. I feel like we when we study the industrial revolution and kind of the horrifying conditions in factories and the forced labor, and it was dangerous. I mean, people got injured. I mean, they I mean, go both ways. Like, and also, since there's so many people, it's not like they have so much to take on as people did here. 